Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you can always be updated when I drop a new vlog because honey, you know, in the sugar baby lifestyle, shit is always popping. Today is the day after Christmas. I'm about to clean up my room. My room is a mess. And then I need to go run some errands. I have 37 orders to fulfill. Christmas was actually a really good day. I made a whole lot of money yesterday. And so, yeah, right now I'm just getting my life together. I'm going to pop a bottle, you know what I mean? And just, it's Saturday. So let's go ahead and get into this vlog, honey. And y'all, right now, this is my favorite cologne. I just started dabbling in men's cologne. And I really like this. It's really soft. It's like retails at $200. Check that out, honey. Hold these clothes so I can go and get my bottle of champagne. talk to y'all about something and get some you know advice on a dating situation okay so basically I've known this guy for like six years right literally six years and he's a great guy he takes good care of me or whatever but one night his baby mama popped up we were hanging out, chilling. I was naked, getting ready to go to bed. This, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? And we were about to get ready to go to sleep and out of nowhere, somebody starts banging on the door. I'm thinking it's his cousin and his cousin is probably drunk and you know, forgot his key or just something of that nature. And I'm on my phone, mind you. Like, I would have literally never knew some crazy girl was at the door if he didn't come in the room starting to act funny. So I'm on my phone, distracted, and he walks in the room tiptoeing, closing the door, like peeking out the door and turning all the lights off. And so I'm like, what bitch is that? I was... <laughs> I was actually joking. Like, I didn't even really think that some girls at the at the door. And the main reason why I didn't think that is at the beginning of dating somebody, I fully trust them. I would never know that you're lying to me unless like I just find happen to find out or you start showing me signs of lying. But in the beginning of dating somebody, I'm very confident in myself. And so I'm not worried about anyone else. So when I find out that there is somebody else, I get very hurt. Not like in my feelings crying or anything like that, but hurt in the sense of, I really trusted you. I had no idea you was lying to me, even though I'm used to it. You know, I, I should already be prepared and have my guard up, but I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. So to find out that there was another girl at first, I was kind of really pissed off because I'm like, you too? Like, you full of shit too? And we ended up getting into an argument because I was really upset that somebody would bang on the door and I had no idea there was no other woman. Blah, blah, blah. The day goes the next time. Um, I ended up leaving. And I didn't talk to him for a couple of days. And he was already very, you know heart in his stomach because he knows me he knows that when i get upset i have the ability to disappear on you for years like i've disappeared on him we just started talking again i've known him for six years i stopped talking to him for like a whole year and a half two years went by and i did not talk to him at all and so right now after all that happened he's in the you know i want my woman back mode so he's trying to get me back so he's calling my phone, blowing me up, all this other stuff, blah, blah, blah. 
And then I wasn't going for it. You know, he lost a lot of points with me. Not right now. And then he finally came over one night and we talked. And he opened up to me and finally let me know that that girl that popped up was his baby mother. And that the two kids, he has a picture on his dresser of him and some kids. I always thought it was maybe his nephews and stuff like that. Come to find out those kids are his. I was furious. I was pissed. Mainly because, okay, whatever, let's get back into the story. I was pissed, he told me, whatever. One, I understand because I understand how people try to protect their kids. But two, it pissed me off because if she wouldn't have popped up, he would have never told me. I would still to this day not know that this man has kids. Then three, he didn't tell me because he knows I don't deal with men with kids. And he didn't want to lose me, so he just decided not to tell me. I guess until he made me fall in love with him and then he was going to tell me. Which on my part, that's how I feel. I feel like this man pulled on my heartstrings so much and then dropped that on me that way it would be harder for me to want to just leave him since i'm in love with him but i feel like that's me try him trying to play me like if i don't deal with men that have kids then let's just go our separate ways ain't no ain't no point of you trying to make me fall for you that way it's harder for me to leave when i find out you have kids and then not even just that, if she wouldn't have popped up, when were you gonna tell me? You feel me? And then what I don't like is him always coming at me talking about he needs to trust me. He feels like he can't trust me. But then I'm like, hold on. You ain't gonna sit here and be a narcissist for me. You're the one that's hard to trust. You popped up with kids, not me. So that also threw up a red flag for me because I'm like, you the one I need to trust, not me. So, I just don't even know how to feel about him because he does take, he is a cool guy. I've known him for a long time. He does take good care of me in the sense of being a provider in my life. But I just really don't like that. Like, I feel like I am being forced to deal with this man now. Like, he, in a way, is trying to, like, force me by pulling on my heartstrings. And that's not cool. Like, if, it, if the roles were reversed and I popped up with kids, would it be the same? Probably not. Like, you would think I'm some lying ass bitch. So, that's what I'm going through right now, y'all. Like, I don't know if he got me a Christmas gift or not because I blocked him. Like, I blocked him. I don't wanna talk right now. I feel like I got played again. Like, nigga, I did not, it's always something, bro. The last nigga popped up was bisexual. This nigga pop up got fucking kids. Like other nigga popped up and was married for his green card. And it's just like, at this point, I'm sorry, I'm over here waving my panties around. <laughs> at this point, I'm like really on edge when it comes to opening up or just being with somebody. I just don't trust nobody anymore. And I don't feel like anybody deserves the nice side to me at all either. Like people don't deserve that from me anymore. Like I'm not giving nobody the benefit of the doubt. It's not innocent till proven guilty. You're fucking guilty until you show me that you're innocent. In the story, I'm not dealing with it no more. I'm not giving, I'm not letting people play me no more at all. I mean, it's not probably getting played, but yeah, that's how I feel. And it's not cool. So. I'm not like heartbroken or nothing like that. Like I'm really not too bothered by it. Well, I'm bothered, but I'm not like super in my feelings. If you see a dirty towel, trust me, it's clean. It smells good. It's just a dirty towel. Like I use this like to clean up the floor or stains or just the couches or a spill or something like that. So, and this is stained with turmeric. So this was in my laboratory. So yeah, that's why it looks like that. Nigga, you could have told me. Like, I'm not, I don't want no stepkids, personally. I'm not, I'm not nobody's stepmama. 
only I'm being a mother to only my children and so and I don't care how anybody feels about that I don't want to deal with baby daddies don't worry honey if you worried about somebody wanting your baby daddy you could for a fact you know for a fact I do not want him I do not deal with baby daddies I don't deal with people that have baggage period like me I don't come into somebody's life I don't walk into a nigga life like this. Hey, here's all my problems. Let's open them up together. <laughs> I got, I got baby daddies. I got, I'm broke. I got student loans. I don't have no substance in my life. Let's go more into deep into this luggage. You feel me? Like none of that. I don't. I don't have no baggage. Any issues that happened in my life have been taken care of by me. And I'm not talking about babies because I don't do abortions. I've never been pregnant either. Never. No miscarriages, no, no abortions, whatever. But I'm just saying, I deal with my own problems. And don't bring your baggage with you. Keep it or take care of it or go exchange it. We don't do that around here. So here I be. Still waiting for my future husband to come and rescue me. Well, at least he knows I know how to fold towels if he's watching. I honestly think I'm just gonna get, like, keep it going, keep it moving. But at this point, with all the problems that these men have, I'm gonna just have to find somebody and tolerate their problems. But I'm not dealing with the bad, like the really, really crazy problems. I want simple problems like, like, you emotionally scarred like a little baby. Or, yeah, but why can't babies be perfect? Like, I don't understand. I'm perfect. I feel like I'm perfect. I don't have no kids. I'm not in no debt. I don't got no, no, no baggage. I could cook, I could clean. I got good coochie. Poonani, we got good Poonani. Um, I, I take good care of myself. I take good care of my dogs. I pay my bills on time. I got a vehicle. I got a business. Like, I don't get easily, I mean, I do get upset sometimes very easily, but I block you. I'm not gonna sit there and cuss you out and argue with you 24 seven. I'm gonna block you and you finna go make a new number if you wanna talk to me. y'all so i just got back from the dollar tree i got me a few little goodies i'm gonna show y'all what i got because i know some only one person commented on my last vlog and had actually the nerve to say something about me shopping at the dollar tree which i felt very funny because i'm like so because i make six figures a year that means i can't shop at the dollar tree right says the broke bitch okay <laughs> <laughs> so let me show y'all what I got so I got some soap dish soap of course I got me some napkins I mean if you too bougie to go spend a dollar on a roll of napkins more for me thank you I'll put them over here napkins soap I got me some of uh, more scrub more um what do I call these More scrubs. What do I call these? I said I needed more. I went brain dead, like literally. Oh my gosh, that is. They're called sponges. I got more sponges. I do not know why I could not think just for a second there. Like literally, my whole brain went dead, and I'm staring at these like, what are these called? It says scrub buddies, but. <laughs> Got me some more scrub buddies okay <laughs> and then i got me one of these for my eyes when i'm sleeping i had one but i gave the other one i had to this guy i was talking to he wanted it <laughs> it's a cheetah one <laughs> but it really helped him sleep and i just wanted to get this one because it was as cute as another one but got that oh, something else in here 
I grabbed some of these that I use for my sample Bunani boxes. For the samples, of course, you get a sample size. So I went ahead and just grabbed some of these so I wouldn't have to order any. And then I got some Pedialyte for my dogs. I should have got the clear Pedialyte, but I honestly just wanted to try it and see if this one, if they would like this one. So I got the Pedialyte. And I got some toilet paper. I needed some more toilet paper. So I grabbed me two packs of these. I know some people probably, you know, they're broke, so they're gonna have something to say about a rich bitch going to get two dollars of toilet paper. But at the end of the day, it's only me living here. Eight rolls. I'll go back here in like a couple weeks, still get some more. So broke bitches be quiet. Um I got me some well, I didn't get these from the Dollar Tree. I went to Pet Supplies and I got some treats for my dogs. And then from the Dollar Tree, I got me some ear swabs. Definitely just some I just ran out. I got me some wipes. Um, they even have, they have baby wipes and then they have feminine wipes. I don't like the feminine wipes because they're scented and they're almost like too scented. And I don't like all type of scents down there. I just like my water scent, which smells like nothing. So I like to get these wipes because they don't really have a smell to them. Then I got me some soap. I got two bars of the Dove soap and then one of the Irish Spring, which comes with two of them. And this one's a charcoal soap. So that's really why I also wanted to get it, a deodorant soap. Um, and I love Dove and I love Irish Springs and $3, let's go. Then I got me some carpet cleaner. I really needed some carpet cleaner because my dogs be on my carpet in my bedroom, just <laughs> don't play. And I had to get the apple scent. I like the apple one because you could really smell this scent. And then I, last but not least, I got some. Yes, honey. You know, you can't go wrong with Dollar Tree scent. So they got the sprays, honey, I need those. Smells really good, it smells like apple cinnamon. So yeah, I spent like $23 at the Dollar Tree. I didn't feel like going to Walmart man, because Walmart's lines are so long and I just really don't like, I'm not trying to do all that. I don't even like going out during COVID mainly because I have three dogs and I cannot afford right now to get sick. I just got back walking. I just got back from getting my teeth fixed. I just got a new car. My business is booming. I don't have time to, oh, I just got sick from COVID. So I don't even like going to Walmart sometimes because it just be too packed. And I'd rather either order off Amazon or if it's little stuff like this, I'll just go to the Dollar Tree and it'd be ducked off. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff up. And, honey, we're about to talk about this business. You feel me? <laughs> All right, y'all. So I want to go ahead and get into this business talk with y'all because y'all have been asking me for it. Now, I'm coming out with a guidebook. It is 20 steps to establishing a successful business. All of these steps are something that I have done to have a six-figure business myself. I do have a six-figure business. I make $300 or more a day with my business. And I will insert some clips and um, things like that. But I'm not going to go into the entire 20 steps right now. Um, I'm going to just go over, honestly, one of them. I'm just going to go into one of them. And each one of them is kind of like my guidebook, my sugar baby guidebook, how I have the steps. And then I have a paragraph explaining the step. So my first step for, having, um, for establishing a successful business is to innovate a high in demand idea. And by that, I mean, when it comes to creating money, I'm sorry, when it comes to creating a money making idea, you do not have to be rich. As long as your idea is high in demand, piques people's interest and is timeless, you will have great success if you form your blueprint and execute the plan. Always remember, just because someone else is doing it and they are successful doesn't mean you should copy them. Then again, if someone likes to do hair and you like to do that, it's okay. 
You can start a business doing that because they are not you. Make sure any business that you start, it represents who you are. Now, that is my first step into establishing a successful business. Um, I have, of course, 19 more steps that I'm going to get into. And on um, my book, I will be dropping my book probably on January 1st. I'm going to go ahead and just drop the book New Year's Day so everyone can hop into the new year doing something that they love and getting some sort of confirmation that they are doing it the right way. So, yeah, this is this is not going to be my last video of the year. I think I'm going to go live and bring in the new year with y'all. Me personally, I'm not going to be going out. COVID hits different when it hits home. People close to me have gotten sick and they've gotten sick because of, I can name a whole bunch of reasons as to why they've gotten sick. I'm not really going to get too deep into that on this vlog, but just knowing people that, that have gotten sick makes me not want to, you know, go out and be out like that. I just got back walking. I'm finally, you know, back in good spirits and stuff like that. And I have three dogs. I can't afford to be sick with my three dogs. You know what I mean? So I've just decided I'm probably going to bring in the new year in a secluded, intimate area, more than likely at one of my friend's house or something like that. And yeah, and I'm going to keep, um, I'm also relaunching Poonanny Box in a different way. Poonanny Box is now going to be Poonanny Box. Like, I don't feel like you can buy one, one of my cleansers without buying the astringent and it's going to work or you're going to see a difference in your skin. In order to notice a change in your skin, you have to completely, in order to notice a change, you have to make a, a big difference. So in order to see a difference, you got to make a difference. And by doing that, you have to completely stop using the skincare that you were using before mine. And I don't mean completely stop. You could still use it in between if you want to or whatever. But I feel like if you're going to use my skincare, you need to use all of the products that I have in order to notice a change in your skin. So Punani Box is going to be, I'm going to have the actual Punani Box still, which that comes with all seven full-sized products with the Punani machine in the goodie bag. And then I'm also going to have a Poonanny Box Mini. So it's the same concept. It's just instead of the tall gold bottles, you're going to get the 30 millimeter small gold bottles. The mini, everything will be mini size from the scrub, the um, light bright agent and the mask will all be mini sizes. And then I'm going to have the Poonanny Box skincare, which comes with everything in the Poonanny Box except for the Poonanny machine and the goodie bag. Same thing for the Poonanny Box skincare mini. Same concept, just remove the Punani machine and get all the skincare and just mini. And then I'm going to, I have one, two, three different boxes. Well, six different. All three of them, there's a mini size to the version. And my last one is going to be Punani Box Gold, meaning you get just the gold bottles. You get all four, meaning the cleanser, the, uh, the potion, the healing potion, my toner and the moisturizer and then of course i have punani box gold mini where you get all four gold bottles all four products but the mini sizes i'm not going to be doing singles anymore um the only singles that i will be selling are my punani machines my light bright agent my scrub and my clay mask but as far as the gold bottles i feel like the products that are in those bottles all clock all complement each other so in order to notice a change in your skin you have to use them all together and of course I have a skincare step card that comes with it and a diagram that comes for the Punani machine so yeah I'm really excited to restock Punani, Punani box and you know get my new system up and running and I'm also gonna be dropping new vlogs about business running a business and you know giving y'all more tips and stuff like that but I want to save a lot of the stuff that I have for y'all for my book um, so yeah, definitely don't forget, scare feet, don't eat, and a closed mouth, don't get fed. Mwah. Happy New Year. Bitch!